Alrighty, I only have 12 minutes left on this SIM card because I foolishly forgot to empty it out when I got home. I got very distracted and spent the entire night playing Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And although that game is fun and everything, um, I need to be careful not to let it consume my days. Um, I pride myself in being productive and getting a lot of stuff done, even during the week when most people are unproductive. And so I need to kind of keep that up. Um, yesterday just wasn't, wasn't that day. But, um, I don't remember what I was going, what I was getting at. Oh, yeah, I only have 12 minutes on this camera, so. I probably will be cut off because I know for a fact that I cannot get, um, I cannot get, what is it? I know for a fact that I cannot get to work or to where I'm going in 12 minutes. Gosh, my mind is not here and I keep losing track of what I'm saying. And then I'm like, ah, oh, what was I saying? What was I doing? And it's tough because it's like I'm saying and talking to you all about one thing, but I'm thinking about something else and it keeps derailing my thought process. And so hopefully I can refocus the thought process and keep it keep it focused where it needs to be and do what needs to be done. I um, keep had a, a weird dream last night that was not <clears throat> a good one and it keeps like thoughts that were brought up during it keep resurfacing in my head and it's like those are like the modern nightmares if you will like you don't have a dream about somebody chasing you and then wake up and want to go sleep with your parents anymore but you do still have these dreams that trigger alarming thoughts and um, kind of get in your head more than you might like them to and that's what I had today and I'm hoping that I can maintain some level of um, recovery if you will from that and be able to uh, do what needs to be done but it's just interesting to observe the modern landscape of dreams as an adult and to try and interpret them. I've always been interested in dream interpretation and um, like as I see this as like a form of journaling I feel like dreams are a way to like sort through your conscious or unconscious thoughts and I can't help but wonder if um, if they are just, I mean, I feel like they are just a collection of thoughts, but it's, it's still fascinating to, to try and interpret it because it's all things that you have thought about throughout the day that have popped up in your head that have stuck with you. And now you're trying to, um, you know, now you're trying to uh, figure out what all's going on, what all's happening. And I just really hope that sometime I can, I don't know, but the dreams that stick with you, because like, you know, most of the time, or not most of the time, I feel like a lot of the time you'll have a dream and you'll wake up and you can't really remember the details of it. And you're just like, wow, that was an impactful dream. But I don't really remember it. Why do I feel like it was important, but I can't remember it? And then you have the ones that did stick with you. And I know a lot of people who say that like most of their dreams they don't remember. They don't remember them at all. And they have know a decent amount of people who say that they remember their dreams, but they don't remember a lot of them. I feel like I remember if I do dream, I feel like I remember it, if that makes any sense. I don't feel like I always dream. I don't feel like that's always a thing. I feel like I, um, I either dream and remember it or I just don't dream at all. 
and it's interesting to think about that concept and like I wonder how like early people interpreted those like when cave people went to bed and woke up and heard had dreams going around in their head or whatever like what did they think was going on better yet like what were their dreams about but it's just interesting to me to see and to interpret those things and to understand like where they're coming from and what they're trying to say and yeah it's just it's been an interesting morning it's been an interesting couple of days I have some I have some stuff that I do want to talk about but I need more than 12 minutes to talk about it so I'm trying to fill this time slot up with dream theory because I um, because I failed to clear out my SD card so I'll have space enough for a full video today I um, I need to do better about getting back into these videos though because like this week alone I've done one, two, three, four. This is video number five and it's Thursday which should be video number seven and so I'm two videos behind and just about caught up with myself. I can't keep not making videos if I'm going to keep this goal going because like in order to make 365 videos, I have to film 365 videos. And if I did one video a day, that would get me there. If I did two videos five days a week, that would get me there as well, and would probably get me there a little earlier since I'm filming three more videos than I would if I was just doing seven a week. And so, in theory, I should still get there ahead of schedule, but I probably won't be as far ahead of schedule as I'd like to be if I can't keep these uploads going. So I really need to get home today and make today a productive one. I keep getting distracted with things when I get home and I need to stop doing that. And part of me is like, well, because the situation that is going on isn't something that I always will have available to me and so I want to take advantage of it but I also um, am feeling a certain way about that whole thing anyway so it doesn't really matter um, and I don't know it's just it's a wash without being a wash if that makes any sense whatsoever so I don't know what I'm doing or how I'm going to go about doing it and then, excited about things, I'm also not excited about things, and I just don't know anymore what I want out of this, and hopefully I can get what I want out of it, and I can do these good and wonderful things, but I don't know that I believe that, and if I don't believe it, then that's just the way that it needs to be. I have approximately three minutes left. <sighs> I don't know what it is about this month, but this month has been just absolutely terrible. And we're only maybe six days into the month. Six days into the month, and I already think it's like one of the worst months ever. It's just, there is a whole heck of a lot going on at work. And I can't possibly keep up with it all, and that's obnoxious. It's unfortunate because there was a time that was admittedly worse than this time, and now we're here, and I cannot um, figure out what's going on, if that makes sense. like. I was, I wouldn't say I was striving, I was surviving in a situation a lot worse than this one. And now we're in this situation, and I still feel like it's not really cooking the way that I'd like for it to cook. Um, so, I don't know, I just have to, I have to really kind of dial in and 
try to buckle up and understand what's going on and what I want to do, what I can do, and all of that fun jazz. I, um, I don't know. It's difficult to fully interpret it or understand what I'm trying to do, but you want to get to a certain place where you can understand these things and make something of these things, but it's difficult to do that because it just doesn't make immediate sense when you're looking at it from the outside looking in. I've got a minute left, but when you're looking at it from the outside looking in, you're like, this should be simple. Like, I was surviving when I was doing this, but now I'm doing this, and I feel like I'm still barely hanging on. And so it's just difficult to deal with and to get used to and to understand all of these things. But I'm thinking that when I get to that point, it will be better. And, but it, it does sort of feel like the can't get no satisfaction effect just in life in general. Like, no matter how much you do, you can't reach a point settled down, and like, maybe, maybe I can, the position I came from before this was a very calm position, like, I would sit down for hours on end and not have anything directly that I needed to be working on, and, um, I can remember knocking out several chapters of my current book, um, while working that job, and I couldn't even think to do that now, because I'm so dang busy, and I can even remember being bored of the job. And I can remember being like, ugh, like I wanted something that was going to be stimulating and keep me busy. And it's like I went from one extreme to the end to the next. I went from like too boring to too exciting. And I'm hoping that I can get this role to rest somewhere in the middle where it's not super boring. It's not overly exciting either. It's just, it just exists. There goes the popo. So, at any rate, I don't know uh, where that lands.